Uh, hello? 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 Can anyone hear me? Is this thing on right now? God, I should put some pants on. Uh, so pretty much I'm gonna read these facts, so please be patient with me or I'll, I'll, I'll cry. Um, also, my name is Jonathan, by the way, in case I forgot. So some basic information about quote-unquote Seymour Hersh is um, that he was born April 8th, 1937 in Chicago, Illinois. He is 84 years old. He grew up in Chicago, Illinois, and his parents were Polish and Lithuanian immigrants whose deep belief in American democracy had long informed his idealistic muckbanging, muckracking, muckraking. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, let's go to the next slide now, all right? All right, uh, this is, uh, he's, re he's really goodly, he's really good at journalism, so let me read this. Um, he's known for, he first gained recognition in 1969 for exposing the My Lai Massacre and its cover-up during the Vietnam War. Uh, he earned the 1970 Pulitzer Prize for international reporting for exposing the My, the My, the, the, the My La Massacre and cover-up during the Vietnam War. Um... He made people's lives better because he, like, exposed, like, the wrongdoing and stuff of the Americans um, to the Vietnamese people. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, I, I, I literally don't know what to put for three and four. I'm sorry because I, I didn't know what we were supposed to do, so please forgive me. Um, uh, so these slides, uh, here's some, like, highlights of his career pretty much. Um, I suppose I'll read out what I wrote, but I, I, I couldn't really finish because, like, he's literally, he's so old. Like, if I'm being real with you on a spiritual level, like, I couldn't find anything for them. Um, before he was a journalist, he worked at Walgreens. In case you guys didn't know, there's a Walgreens actually, like, up the street from here. Um, some awards he's earned. He earned the Pulitzer Prize for International Reporting, the National Book Critics Circle Award for General Nonfiction, the George Polk Award for Magazine Reporting, and the George Polk Award for Investigative Reporting. He uh, covered actions of the U.S. military and stuff like that. Um, let's let's just go to the next slide. I want to go to bed. It's 12.01. Uh, yeah, next is education and career, you fools here. Sorry for rapping. It's a tendency of mine. Just like, please don't mind it. Lol. Anyways, um, he went to college in... Uh, he, he went to the University of Chicago Law School, and he was expelled because he sucked. He had poor grades. Uh, I don't know why they became a journalist, but I do know he began his career as a copy boy. Or, yeah, a copy boy. For the, 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 then, then he was a police reporter for City News Bureau of Chicago in 1959. Um, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what he was doing in the height of his career, right? Like, let's, let's, let's just go to the next slide. Like, let's just, let's just go, right? I, I I couldn't find any I couldn't find anything for two and four like he's so old like uh, all right all right enough of that I right, like I get it all right we we get it he's old um here here's some like mildly interesting facts about him that aren't too interesting if I'm being honest um he has a wife named Sarah Klein or Klein I don't I think it's Klein it's it's like Calvin Klein he's straight. And he wrote, new, he wrote news about things happening in Vietnam, and he was born in Chicago, which, as many, as many people know, is crime central. Come on. Like, we all know that. Whoa, that was a doozy. He sounds like a really good journalist, if I'm being honest. I couldn't find any video. I mean, come on. This guy is literally so old. Like, what videos exist about him? Like, come on. <laughs> all right! I can't keep talking about him being old. Here are my works cited. Um, I used Wikipedia because... It's actually a really good source of information, like, you need to be verified to be able to edit the information to be false, so, like, come on, like, it's good, right? Like, change your minds, like, ch change my mind, actually. I also used Britannica, but c come on, who uses that? Who, who uses that over Wikipedia? No one, no one! Alright? This guy was pretty cool, I guess. But do you know who's cooler? Hmm? Do you know who's cooler than Seymour Hersh? Me!